Atlanta live with in studio. That's right, we're here in Cape Coral, Florida, in the RX Muscle Studios with the celebrity of celebrities, Jason Genova. I don't even have to introduce him; he introduces himself. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. I didn't think you were ever going to make it here, to be honest with you. Well, I did make it. I paid a visit. Yeah, I know you've been because you've been telling me for several months that you were going to come, and then yeah. I said, you know what? He's never going to come. But you did yeah. tell me originally June. Yeah, June. But uh, yeah, that's what I said. All right, let, let's get right to this. People, a lot of people know you because you're online, you do crazy antics and stuff like that. But a lot of people don't know you. So I want to get to the Jason Genova we don't know. I uh, started uh, back in 2009 in fitness, and it was a hobby, and I started loving it. And Well, why did you get into working at it all? Because I enjoyed it. It's a, it's, it's a stressful... As a kid, as a kid, what, were you, what was your childhood like? Uh, I used to get bullied in school. You did. Now, yeah. when you say bullied, why were they bullying you? Because of my learning problems. They made fun of me. Mm-hmm. And I thought if I could pack on some extra beef and some muscle, I could protect myself. Right. Did they did they beat you up or was it no, verbal? No, they verbal and sometimes beat me up. Mm-hmm. And what were some of the things that these the so They wanted kids my lunch money and they they fought, they fighted me over it, so I had to protect myself. So I started working out and building some muscle to protect myself. Back when you went to school, what was lunch money? Like, how much money are we talking about? Five bucks. So they would take your five dollars for lunch every yeah, day? Yeah, yeah. And, and did that make you upset? It made me very upset. Right, right, right. And this is, how old were you at this point? Nine, eight. Okay. What, what is, what's your official diagnosis? ADD, dyslexia, Tourette's, OCD, and a little bit of delusional disorder where I like blow things out of proportion. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is, ever since you can remember, you've had these, these yes, issues? Yes, these struggles, but I am very intelligent in many ways. Mm-hmm. You are, you are, because you make money. Yeah. Somehow. I don't know how you do it. You've extracted more money from this industry, I think, than, than most of the, the bodybuilders do. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm a very intelligent entrepreneur. And um, What are some of your OCD things that you have going I've on? I have scattered problems. Like, basically, I'm not very... Sometimes I don't keep clean very well because I get scattered. Like, that's mm-hmm. some people are... The, uh, there's two different types of OCD. Mm-hmm. One is cleanliness and one is sloppiness. And I scatter. I'm very sloppy in my house. Well, can't you switch? Is it possible to switch I your switch, OCD? I switch. Sometimes I'm very clean. It goes yeah. back and forth. It's a super, sporadic thing. Yeah, I'm Spor- sure your parents would have w- liked the, the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe do you get the... I have my Big Lenny shirt by on the way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you a t-shirt oh, in you the You didn't mail. bring me one, so I had to represent yeah, Big Lenny I'm gonna, today. I'm going to get you... Send you a t-shirt yeah. in the mail. I would be honored. I will send you mm-hmm. one f- now would you consider that big lenny has that same scatter uh problem? yeah we, we we both do have similar <laughs> ways <laughs> yes okay now w- i i haven't heard any tourettes coming at you what's the tourettes you have i right overcame now? my tourettes a couple years ago i actually beat that i thought you can't beat that i thought it never goes away well it's better with medication it's less mm-hmm. noticeable it's it's much less and it's over i've overcame and i've learned how to deal with it basically oh. That did, when you have when you first had it, were you cursing and, and doing all the no? The type of Tourette's I have is more of a math issue where I scatter with saying numbers in my head. In your head, not out loud though. Sometimes I, little whispers in my head. Okay, so if you say like four plus four equals eight. You know, yeah, I keep doing repeating it over and over. Gotcha. I don't want to get you on one of these tangents. So <laughs> yeah. how do you how do you overcome something like that though? Just learn how to deal with it. It comes and goes. Some days you don't feel it, and some days you do. It just it just it depends how nervous you are that day. Okay. Are you nervous right now? For this no, interview? no, I'm very happy. Okay. I'm, I'm thrilled to come. Okay, good, good. What now? What else did you say you had going on? I have some aid dyslexia where I I'm a very smart, but I can't get my speech out properly. Like mm-hmm. I have some grammar issues and some you like reverse letters and stuff like that. Yes, occasionally words? I do. Yes, I do. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. Okay. Um, I also, but the gift is, is I have a photographic memory. Oh, you do. So if I say something today, you're going to remember it like ten years from now. No, I have certain types of photographic memory, like memorizing phone numbers. And like lines from movies, if you give me like, uh, after 20 lines, I'll remember it. If you mm-hmm. practice, like, I remember this line I said for uh, like a skit somebody gave me and I put it on YouTube. Spare me, my Lord. I pledge myself to the dark side. Give me mercy. <laughs> I remember stuff like gotcha. that. I have a photograph of my Do you remember what the Darth Vader's line was in the uh, Rogue Luke, One? Uh, yes. Um no, not that one, but I remembered Empire Strikes Back. Luke, I am your father. Well, everyone knows that line. Even I know that line. I can't remember He's, anything. He, say, he says, um, get ready, my ship. I will aboard. Now, what, what's your obsession with uh, this Dark Lord? Uh... Uh, I love Star Wars because it's a very sci-fi and it's a very fun um, world where Anakin Skywalker loses everything he has around him and he destroys himself mm-hmm. to 
Go right. to the dark side. Yeah. And now, loses everybody he loves around him in the in 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 the end. Do you like the new movies? I think some of the new movies are good, but some of them they've uh, overkilled. Yeah. Did you like the fact that they're bringing back uh, Palpatine? Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, Darth Sidious. That's awesome. Yeah, so you're okay with that. You don't yeah. think they're ruining the story or anything like that? I think it's awesome just to put him in a little bit, show some interesting stuff how he uh, became him. Right. Do you think we'll see Yoda anymore in these next movies? I hope maybe a little ghost here and there. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you into Yoda? Yes, I'm a very good imitator. Let me hear you do your Yoda. Why would you weapon? I mean, you know, I'm clouded. This boy is very, very clouded. Anger leads the path of the dark side. Anger leads the suffering. Anger leads the hate. I sense much fear in you. <laughs> That's very good. That's pretty good. I have to tell you, I, I, I think you do a better Yoda than I do. Now, you happen to have a very, very big social media following. Why do you think people are so kind of consumed Because I'm, with I'm, you? I'm, I'm fun. I bring entertainment. I'm not just... I like... I'm a... You know, I've competed, I've looked okay, but I'm more of a gym rat type of bodybuilder. Mm. But I like to enjoy myself having fun and bringing entertainment mm. and teaching some people th some certain things they don't know, how to, certain things I do know they don't know, mm -hmm. and having fun with it and bringing entertainment and joy to people, especially to people who have learning problems like mm. me, and you know, making them happy and mm. make, putting a smile on their face when they're sad. Right, right. Now, when you obviously you have a very. Um, and I don't know if this is an act or not, but you have a, a you have like a very strong wall around you. you. You don't let anything that people say bother you. No, no, I, 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 you know, I have my fans. I have my haters. Like, you know, I, I know a lot of like rappers. Like, I called out this rapper who gave me a shout out a while ago. Uh, a very famous uh, who? underground rapper. She's been on Roll Star Hip Hop. Wool Vicky, you probably heard of her. The rapper. No, I, I, I'm not really well, a rapper. Well, she's a rapper. She's yeah. a rapper. But she's got a lot of haters because she pretends she's a white girl and she pretends she's a black girl. Okay. Is she black? No, she's white. Oh, she's white. She's now, I understand you're a rapper too. Yeah. Um, do you? What do you? What kind of raps do you do? Freestyle rap. Freestyle. Okay. Can you? You want to do a little freestyle? You first? know my flavor. I come from Los Angeles. Big struggles. You can't touch me. I'm untouchable. Los Angeles. I'm was born in Northridge. Yeah. You know the flavor, baby. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Now, do you want to? Are you ever planning on recording a rap album? I am coming out with a rap album. You are. What is that going to be called? Uh, do you know, uh, J Cream Baller status. Ball stuff. Okay. How, would you ever consider? <laughs> would you ever consider doing a rap album about like maybe bodybuilding? Since that's yeah, yeah, I, I plan on the right one for that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Who would, what would be some of the bodybuilders you would include in the in the rap uh, songs? Some like Rich Piana. I would some yeah. some stuff when I met him and like um, maybe like my favorite bodybuilders like Dorian Yates and okay. Tom Platts. Kids spit some rhymes that they're awesome bodybuilders mm -hmm. or something well, like that. Since you're a freestyler, why don't you give me like a like a Dorian Yates rap right now? You know Dorian Yates is my favorite bodybuilder. Won the 1992-97 bodybuilding show. The greatest Mr. Olympia who ever stepped the stage back in the 90s. You know it. He's the king of bodybuilding with the barn door back. All right, that's, that's too bad. I would have liked to have had a few more rhymes in there, but I think that's pretty good. I think Dory would be uh, very thrilled with that, you know. So, I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to have a rap made by Jason Genova? Yeah. Now, who's your music guy? Who's gonna like put the music? Well, part I have I have beats. I buy my purchase my beats, and I uh, okay. own the rights, and then uh, yeah. I throw in the lyrics, and boom, there's your rap. Now, you when I when <laughs> <laughs> now when I watch your videos, Jason, are you doing your own editing? Yes, I know you have some guys videoing here. Yeah, today, so. I do. Edit Edit, I use Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, so you do all, all those videos we watch, you're editing them mm -hmm. all? I spend about three, four hours a night. Well, okay. Okay, now well, uh, who are the guys who videotape for you? Uh, well, I videotape myself when I'm doing, I go to the gym with Brad or mm, whatever. Right. And when I'm doing a video with myself, I film at either my house on a tri I got a really nice tripod, a couple hundred so dollars. You're, so you're doing a lot of it, you're filming, own filming too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the guys here today are just doing your documentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And what is that for? To teach people that I'm not just an entertainer and a bodybuilder, but I'm also a hard worker at social media. You know, people could say what they want about you. You're you're obviously putting in the work. You know, people think you're just you know goofing around all day, but you. No, there you, is some you, talent I have. There is something I have. Well, no, I'm saying you're putting work into yeah, it. Yeah, putting work. You're not. It's, it's not. There's, it's, a, there's a plan, is what I'm saying. A lot of people don't plan. realize that. Well, I I just don't. You know, work, I work a part-time job, but I do other things. I have other sources of income. What do you, What do you do? 
On my side job, I work at the grocery store as a stocker in the stock department. What, what grocery store? Uh, Publix uh, in, in Delray Beach. Oh, okay. I, I, I happen to like Publix. It's, it's a, a very good... My store is beautiful. It's, it's a not, they just build right. it. It's brand new. Right, it's right. awesome. Maybe why don't you get Lenny a job there? I heard he's I'm got gonna, fired recently. I, I'm going to try. I might try to get him one, actually. You I'll think that... They, and then you, look, you, know, you look very well kept and everything like that, I, I, so I can see them hire you, but you think that they would let Lenny you know, stock shelves? If he got... If he got with it, yeah. No, because he he looks like he could scare the customers, you know. Well, if he acted polite, I don't see why not. Maybe at night. They give Maybe the night, night shift. Night yeah. Over the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they give him the night shift to yeah. stock the shelves. Now, what's what's your department? Do you do everything? Or? I do stock department and dairy department. So, you know, are you very familiar then with that? I'm very familiar with the whole department around mm-hmm. the, where the what, dairy is and all that what's stuff. The, is there any new latest developments in dairy that we should know about? Like, you know, like new higher protein, like, you know. Well, there might be a lot of vegan uh, dairy products coming out. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you probably get first dibs on everything, I would assume. Yeah, well, they give me a discount for food with uh, my uh, job, actually. That's a, that's a good, especially if you're a bodybuilder, that's a great job. Yeah. Now, now my, my question to you is you're so dedicated to your social media and to your Instagram and to your YouTube, you know, and, and to bodybuilding. How come we've never seen you shredded on stage? I'll tell you why. I've had troubles with um, getting shredded because I haven't had the right coaches in my life to really fucking put a clamp on me and excuse my language yeah. to put a clamp on me but I, you're a self-motivated guy i, I am a self-motivated would... I, I think sometimes it's my disabilities what make me scatter i think i think you're using that as an excuse no i think i think i have very came very close to being shredded back and i'll give you one year i mm-hmm. was on the money it yeah. was 2014 the adam harper if you go back and look at the video okay. i almost had visible abs and that's that's five years ago though yeah but i really would like to get to that level again i wish don't I you want to show up once on stage and have people say holy absolutely. shit this guy because you got muscle in your body absolutely i would love to come in one show and that's what my plan is i just need to get the high if i you know maybe if i have to hire a coach i will how old do you know i'm still fairly young 34. okay so you're a young man and uh, you obviously still have a bodybuilding future. Do you, now, do you like classic bodybuilding? I love classic bodybuilding. Can you make the weight? Well, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, your I, height. Yeah, one seventy-five. Yeah, I can make that okay, weight. All right. So, so that maybe that's your, maybe that's your calling. That's why you don't need glutes because you kind of can cover them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe I should. Maybe. Who, I, who would win in a, in a pose down? You or Lenny? You think? Definitely me. You would beat Lenny. Yeah. Would you be willing to like wager money on that against Lenny? I wouldn't want to waste money, but I would. Although want... you probably have a lot more money than Lenny does. I, I would give him a couple bucks if he won. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> him a couple bucks. Maybe you should give Lenny a job or something. Like I'm that. gonna try to get Lenny a job. No, I would I mean, love. Maybe you should give him like be your personal assistant or something like that. I would love to help Lenny. I mean, I, he, Lenny's a good guy and stuff. I would love to help him. Don't you think that he could like you know maybe like cook your food for you or something like that? I don't know if you want him touching your food, but I mean, theoretically, you could probably give him a job because now you're like an entrepreneur. I, I see you have. Uh, 35,000 Instagram followers. You got 40,000, for almost 50,000 YouTube followers, right? Yep. You're coming out with, uh, you have an app, right? I have also a pre-workout coming out. Too. Oh, you have, you're a supplement company owner too. Yeah. That's, that's pretty impressive. What's the name of the uh, it's pre-workout? It's uh, J, J, uh, JG Signature Series, just a pre-workout to start and, out with. And what's in there? Uh, beta alanine, mm-hmm. about 300 milligrams of caffeine, some uh, arginine for a pump, uh, some uh, cre- creatine, all that stuff. Will that them. set your Tourette's off if you take that, though? Not a all little bit. Not oh, a little okay, bit. Right. If I take a tad, like one little half a scoop, like okay. let half the dose. But you're, you're looking to sell it to other people to yeah, make money, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm smart. I mean, I just want to inspire people. And a lot. I'm very, in, in, you know, I've overcome a lot in my life. And I'll, this is very sad. I lost my father when I was 16 and a half. It was a huge blow to me. Huge. Yeah, sorry to hear I that. lost my dad. Very young, he died from mesothelioma cancer, from asbestos. Oh, well. My, my, the construction my, I, business. I lost my mom at 14, 15. It's a hard so blow. Yeah, no, it's That's very That's why tough. I started lifting weights, because I wanted to kill the stress, because it was very sad that he died. So mm, yeah. when he died, I started go lifting the gym. Therapeutical stress, mm-hmm. release stress, and keep me happy. Right, right, right. Now, when you first started, how did you decide, hey, I'm going to be this bigger-than-life personality? Where did that come from? Someone, somehow, there must have been the first well, thing you've done where people said, hey, wait a minute, who's this guy, you know? It just started back in 2008, eight, nine. I just started having a lot of beef with people, and that's how I blew up. It, and then I started becoming a funny personality. And So this was on social media you started yeah, doing this? Back in, a long time ago, back in 2008. 
And where where did you start doing it? Like on message boards and something? No, like? YouTube. I started on MySpace and then I went to YouTube in 2000. Oh, so you've had a YouTube channel for a very long time. Then. Yeah, about ten over ten years. Yeah, a lot of people don't have that. I think mm. you got a head start on everyone. Yeah, I'm one of the original ones. You were you were ahead of your time. You didn't yeah. even know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, what would you say would be your most popular videos that you do? Uh PJ Braun ones, the um, some of the Delray Gym, the old Delray uh, Gym back in the day. Oh. Pro yeah, yeah. Probably um, the British Piano era. Some cool stuff. Who's your Who's your like nemesis now? You always have someone that you're battling. Uh, I don't have a nemesis right now. It's been kind of calmly, but the, probably the last nemesis I had was about a couple years would be uh, Kai, Kai Kyle Muscle. Oh, now why is that? Um, he well, lashed out on me once and called me a retard. Okay. And I got and I just destroyed him. I said Order sixty six him. Now let's yeah, let's let's talk about this Order sixty six because this is something that comes out of Star Wars. Obviously, yeah, yeah. And explain yeah. what it is for people who might not know. Uh, Order sixty six is uh, if you read the books is right after the Clone War ends um, and Anakin goes to the dark side. Palpatine sends him on a mission to wipe out all the Jedi. So basically, I'm trolling and spamming the same way by, by wiping. Everything out, basically, in my path. Right. He basically killed all the children in the in, yeah. in Jedi Temple. Yeah. yeah. That was the Order 66, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're going out there and trying to wipe out your, your whoever you're ordering this Order 66 yeah, on. Yeah, my enemies. I think you ordered one on me, too, right? But I pulled my lightsaber and I showed you, It was you, funny. Right? It was funny. Like, you, take, you took it such like a man. I'm so happy, <laughs> man. It was so funny, man. Yeah, I, I find it humorous. I don't I don't really take myself too seriously, which some I don't people, do. Some people do, too. Yeah. They take it too seriously. Who's the one person that, that, that rubs you the... The, 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 makes you the most annoyed in this industry. Well, he says he's all natural and he's all this and he's all that. That would be Kaya Muscle. Okay, so this is the same guy. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, that's your your, your guy. One you're of them. After. One of them. Okay. One of them. Um, who would you say is the guy that you kind of admire the most in the industry? In the end of his life, Rich Piana. He was Why a, did you like Rich so much? He was a unique person. Mm -hmm. He was different. He was ahead of his time. A lot of his stuff. Mm -hmm. In what sense? He. Just was unique. It was a marketing genius. He was very intelligent. He had a lot of niches and businesses, and I really appreciate that. In the so guy. you look up to that aspect of him that he was able to to take maybe not a competitive career, but just and the social a bodybuilding meet. lifestyle and, and having fun. Got you. Now you have uh, a clothing line coming out. I understand too. I, it's already clothing? clothing. It's Jason Genova Clothing Line right. com. Now why would I would want? Why would I want to wear your clothing? What's so because it's about fun it? and it's entertaining. There's a lot of different catchy phrases over like my. What? Give me some Who phrases. Who cares? Unfortunately, mm -hmm. right. Order sixty six. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's. Do you, do you think people want to represent that on their clothing that they wear? Yeah, just for funs and giggles. Okay. I mean, for joy, like for a gag or something. Right, right. But how much are these shirts costing? Uh twenty bucks. Okay, so you're making a few bucks. Yeah, who, who, who do you do with them? You print them yourself? Uh partially Amazon and partially a distributor in uh, Los Angeles. And you actually stock the stuff you sell? Yeah, I have over twenty five thousand in stock each each. Where do you each store this stuff? In a lot bedroom? of uh, well, no, 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 no. I have a person running it all in Los Angeles for me. Okay, so you have a fulfillment warehouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do they just do? T-shirts there and you send the orders in there. T-shirts, t-shirts, soon hats. Included. And hats too. What yeah. is that? The hat you got on? No, this is bodybuilding.com. Oh. This is when I was. How can you not representing your uh your, your online? This is one of them. Okay, make America piss, piss again. again. <laughs> and what does that mean? Uh, I did it around the presidential election. I thought it was funny spoof, so I came out with those t-shirts. Okay. So you're into sayings. You figured that to catch sayings. Yeah, yeah, catchy sayings, fun stuff. Instead of make America great, make America piss. A little slang, okay. change it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, well, you're a rapper, so you can, you can, you can go there, I guess. Yeah. You know? Now, you also, have, uh, you also have plans to compete, I understand, yes. with Big Lenny. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. What's, uh, when, when's that going to go down? Uh, it's about 18, 20 weeks. It's in um, nice. North Carolina. It's in the end of near Halloween time. So you're starting your, your contest prep soon. Yeah, right? yeah, so. very soon. What What's a typical Jason Genova diet like? What do you eat? Boring diet? If I go straight keto, it's just chicken and broccoli and maybe two days of carbs with sweet potato and brown rice. Very low carbs, about okay, 80 so. to 120 grams a day. So you're a low carb guy. Yeah, low carb. Well, that's good. Does right. that help you or, or make... It makes my situation? focus makes my focus more uh, keen because I'm eating cleaner foods, less chemicals, mm -hmm. less processed stuff. I've mostly organic so okay. all right let's get to the meat of potatoes what everyone really wants to know what, what what's your drug cycles that you're taking for these um shows? one um i take anivar i take about 50 milligrams uh every day okay. of anivar right um um trend i take about 100 milligrams every other day does that make you a little nuts it makes me a little nuts but 
if I have a trouble sleeping at night, yeah. I take a sleeping pill. I have prescribed sleeping pills. What, do you, what do you have? Anything good? Um, Benadryl. Knocks me. Well, that's me. not really a prescribed pill. Well, I have a best prescribed, prescribed type. I have a stronger. A oh, strong, you have a stronger dose. Stronger dose. Okay. Yeah, but that, that knocked me out. And, what else? What else do you take? Um, I take uh, a little TRT. Little testosterone. Okay, so you have a, a baseline of testosterone. Yeah, how base. much is that? Two fifty a week. About two fifty a week. Okay, so you're not you're more of an anabolic guy. Yeah, yeah. Do you use any of the growth hormone or anything like that? A little bit, about half of the I use, not six I use. I use about three I use every other day. All right, that's a lot. Now, where do you, what kind of what brands? Are you into the pharmacy brands or are you into the Chinese stuff? No, the good stuff, the pharmacy brands. Okay, the so clean you, stuff. Oh, so you you get the good stuff. Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, so that you're not cheaping out or anything. Like no, that. no, no. You know Walmart bodybuilder. No, no Walmart okay, bodybuilder. What about Clembuterol? Do you use that? Clembuterol and T3. Yeah. Okay, all right. So you got the whole stack down pretty good. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. That's good. And I use when I get off my cycle, Remedex, Novotex, and Clomid right, and PCT. So you got the PCT and everything like that going. Now, what's uh, what? What are the uh, other drugs you're taking? The, the prescription drugs for your conditions? You know? uh, I take Holodrol, what's about 100 milligrams, 150 milligrams once a month, an injection in my uh, tricep. Okay. Now, that that's a drug I know that they give to schizophrenic people. Yeah, well, that's for my delusional disorder, okay, the, the so, delusional problem. Okay, we haven't even gone to the delusional. What kind of delusions do you have? Do you have here Delusion, voices? Delusional grandeur, where I blow things, everything like, you know, like Titanic, I blow things out of proportion. Right. Like, I'm entitled, give me. I got you. So when you're when you're not medicated, it's bad. Yeah. So you're you're uh, uh, people calling police on you and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It's not good. What's the worst incident that ever happened? I interrupt the neighbors and I screamed and I had arguments and they called the cops and they brought them to my door. All right. Did you, now do you fight the cops when they come? No, I buy my way out of because I'm disabled. Which, <laughs> I get oh, a oh, call. You pull, oh, you pull the old. Uh, I'm, I, I have um, something wrong with me. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you go from being completely able to disabled when the cops come. Yeah. Yeah. And what do they do? They feel bad for you? Yeah, like, yeah. So let me go. <laughs> it's a call calling have, card. Have they, have you ever been so bad that they had to bring you in to the uh the, the mental, you know, house? No, not in about ten years. No. <laughs> what happened ten years ago? I happened ten years ago, it happened once. Just I was there for one day. They were just watching me and see if I was okay. Did they think you were like suicidal or something? No, they thought I was fine and let me go. Did they put I you can't. in a straitjacket or anything? Like no, that? no, nothing okay. that bad. Right. Nothing okay. that bad. They just were watching me, monitoring me. Did you ever there. fight the cops? Like No, you know? I would okay. never do right. that. Okay. I'm I'm a harmless as a fly. Okay. So you, you calm down when the yeah, cops come. Yeah, I can I calm down. Okay. Calm down. But what about what about girls? Do you like girls? I love girls. Okay. I love girls with tits and ass. Oh you do. And I know I notice you <laughs> I know you like uh, Natalie Portman. Yes, actress. I actually met her once, and I brought an autograph to show you that she signed for me. She did that in person? You didn't buy that like no, online? No, she did this one she did sign. This was at a, Where was that? At a Star Wars Expo about, about uh, 12, 13, 14 years. How much money did that charge? Like 100 bucks. 100 bucks for... Let me see this thing. Real. I guess it's laminated. Did you laminate it? Or no, did she? I got it laminated by her. Did it? Oh, she laminated it. Yeah. Okay, for 100 bucks, they better laminate it, right? Yeah. Now, this... She's not worried about you stalking her or anything. No. I think she had a stalker, didn't she? She did have a stalker, and I sang a song for her, but like the freestyle about that. That, you, that. What? Let's hear it. Yeah. Uh, I'll play it. Let me. Um, no, no. Just I want to hear you. Um, unless I'll, unless I'll, you have access to it very quickly. I have access. To, give me the cell phone right, really quickly. All right. All right. It's on. Let me turn it on. <laughs> I see. See, you wrote, and does she know you wrote this song for her? Yes, she does. She's aware of it. How did you make her aware of it? She uh, put a smiley face on one of my uh, pictures once. She did. She yeah. actually responded to your social media. Yeah. Wow. Once. Were you were you pretty uh, stoked about that? Yeah, I put it on my story. I was so excited. That's that's pretty good. At least she didn't. Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess if she would have been nervous about you, she probably wouldn't have responded at all. Hold it up. Up to you, right here. I say it's pretty funny, man. Did you do all the music yourself? Yeah, all of them. Wow, well, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> now, what? All right, turn it off. Now, what's what's the obsession with Natalie Portman? How come you think that she's so great? Is it she, because just because she, she was in Star Wars? No, not just because she's Star Wars. She's very she cares about her fans. She was very giving. If I show you on her IG, uh, you don't have to show me. Just tell yeah, me. Yeah, she would donated a hundred thousand dollars to people with disabilities, like okay. all different types of right. learning and mental mm -hmm. and facial disorders and all mm -hmm. that stuff. She's gotcha. very giving. She cares a lot right. about a lot of people, and I really respect that. Right. 
Now, do you ever want to have? Do you have a girlfriend now? I have. A, I, I I want to have a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend about four or five months ago. I broke okay. up with her. You broke up with her. Yeah. Why? She was over obsessive and she drove me insane. She was more obsessive than you. Yes. <laughs> In what sense? The very possessive. Right. What, what she, are you making her jealous? Is that why? No, she was possessive because she wouldn't let me do my social media. Why wouldn't she want you to do Because she wanted me to spend all the time with her. Oh, really? Yeah. And where'd you meet this girl? I met this girl at a club in Boca. You did? You picked up a girl at a club? Yeah. What did she look? Was she good looking? Yeah, she was good looking. And what was your line to her? What, what, what did you, what I said, did you, you be, feel? I said one night when I was at the club, I said, baby, you have the most beautiful eyes. And, and, and she <laughs> bought that line? Yeah, and you have some nice tits. You, and you said that to her. And she was fine with that. Yeah, yeah. She must have been plastered when you said that to her. <laughs> yeah. I said, you look beautiful. You look gorgeous. Can I take yeah. you on a date? She gave me her number, and we went out on a date for Really? Like, yeah. And then she, you actually got into a relationship with yeah, her? Yeah. And you me. actually guys had sex and everything like that? A couple times, yeah. Really? Three or four times. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, all right. Good for you. Yeah. And you were willing to give up the sex because she was too possessive. Yeah, because she was way too possessive and she was crazy, man. Oh, okay, all right. Well, you know, maybe one crazy uh, attracts another, you know. Maybe I'll find another girl what's better who understands me more. Yeah. Well, what, what are you looking for? A girl who's super sweet and un uh, intelligent and who understands what, uh, that I have some things I'm doing in my life, like my social media. But you're I mean, a star, essentially. Yeah. yeah. They, they can't be jealous of your yeah, successes. Yeah, it's my entrepreneur-like stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, you would think most women would find that appealing because but you're, you're, you're an But some are possessive. They want, they want all 150% of the attention. I got you. All right. Well, then you didn't find the right person. Not the saying. right one. Not okay. the right all one right. for me. Now, is, did you have any other girlfriends before that? Yeah, a bad one. Oh, really? So you've had bad relationships. Bad relationships. Okay. Not enough to make you go gay or anything like no, that, right? no, 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 no. What do you think about Lenny's sexual preferences? Uh, with the trannies? Uh, yeah. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. When Jason says that, you know, so it's kind of weird, that's kind of, you know, that, that tells you right It's kind of weird. Right it's kind of weird. Yeah. Do you think that he's gay, really? I don't think so. I think he's just lost. Right. In what sense? <laughs> he's... Likes women, but he's interested in trannies, I guess. I guess this is calling. But that would be like you, you were interested in men, maybe, you know. He's, he's interested in both. He's confused, I he, think. He never grabbed your ass or anything like no, that. No, but he, he's okay. confused. Right, I think okay. he's confused. He doesn't know what he wants. Right, right. Are you worried for Lenny's health because he's a little overweight? I am very worried about yeah, him. Yeah. I would love the guy. I'm really worried yeah, about no, him. Yeah, no, I like him, too. I thought he came here. He was very genuine. Last time, um, you know... Um, you know, he's doing a new TV show. I want to, you know, the, the Lenny, Lenny show. show. Yeah. And I saw on YouTube in one of the videos that his stomach is protruding. It's not doing so good. Yeah, I'm it looks really bigger worried. than it was, right? Not good. Very unhealthy. I'm, I'm, I hate to say it. My health is better than his. And yeah. Well, your health should be. I mean, you take care of yourself, right? Yeah, very. Yeah. I mean, because you see Rich Piana dies. Now we see Matt Porter just died. I mean, it's so sad because... It scares me when I see so that. It's so sad that, you know, people take life for granted and life is a gift and your life can be taken any way punish taken away by any sure. time you could get hit by a car you could mm -hmm. you could get in a car accident get hit by a train or a bike accident and you right. could be gone the next minute it's yeah, very sad true. now is it true that you're coming out with your own book you're writing yes i am writing my own book what's that going to be called uh jason you know the biggest struggles overcoming obstacles and becoming an entrepreneur that's that's a long title well, I'm going to try to close, title it down a little bit shorter. I'm going to come out, probably Jason, you know, my biggest struggles, that would be it. Yeah, I think that would, that would probably be good. And then do you think people will actually buy this thing? Yes, because it talks about some topics that are very interesting about my personal life and about Such I've as what? losing my father okay. and some interesting stuff in there mm -hmm. and some touching heartfelt inspired a lot of people with disabilities like myself. Right. overcome certain obstacles in their life and make okay living at it. Now, are you, uh, have you ever thought about going like on, a, on a, a tour of like, you know, giving speeches and motivational yeah, speeches? Yeah, I, I want to. Like I want to inspire people with certain learning conditions like yeah. I am. And you know what? Well, it's very impressive. My doctor says I would never drive. And believe it or not, I have a driver's license. I am, I'm driving. Which is better than Lenny, right? Yeah. Lenny doesn't have a license, does he? No, Lenny has a license. He's driving now. But oh. for... With my disorders overcoming that, it's very rare and it's very unusual. Now, why is that? Why wouldn't someone like you have a license? It's rare. It doesn't happen too often. But why? What would prevent you from being able to because drive? Because the ADD gets so bad, sometimes you have like panic attacks in the oh, car and stuff right. like that. Now, what's what's what kind of ADD? I mean, you can't sit behind the wheel for a long period of time. No more than an hour or two. 
Why? And then you get like antsy? Yeah, you get very antsy. You're doing pretty good right now. Are you medicated now? Yeah, I am medicated. Uh, what, what kind of drugs are you on? I told you the one. How a, how a drug. Oh, you're, oh, just that. But that's a shot you only take once a week, you said. Right? Once a month. Oh, but once, once month. it hits my bloodstream, it goes into the dopamine of my brain. So I feel. Well, it calms you down, but it lasts. So, in other words, it lasts as long as you're days. on that, you can, you're can you completely functional. I'm completely functional. Okay. All right. Well, look, you know, that's, that's the most important thing. So what's what's your goal for the future? What would you say is like the my next, ultimate goal yeah, is yeah. well this except um, for war, I know it's world domination, but other than that, um, definitely compete in one bodybuilding show for fun because I just want to inspire people to have a fun time and be comfortable in their yeah. own skin, man. Be yeah. comfortable and uh, enjoy life and don't be scared to uh, put yourself out there. Don't be shy, man. Don't be scared. Right to take rejection because a lot of people in life get hurt all the time in life. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately you have to go through the wall. I have some fans who are sticking by my side mm -hmm. and I appreciate that. Being the dark Sith Lord that you are, have you ever considered taking an apprentice? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I mean, like as a mentorship type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, I have. Do you have anyone in mind? Um, I would definitely like, you know, one of my fans to be on my, yeah, okay. on my So you team. put it out there. Maybe you should have a contest. To yeah, I have a win contest. an apprenticeship with Jason Genova. Yeah, and they can be on my team. Now, what, what, you brought some pictures there. What, what do you got I there? brought the Natalie one here. I met Lou Frigno, who's an inspiring Hold body. that up to the camera there. Yeah. Okay. Now, Louie's a good friend to the show. Did he charge you for that picture? No, he's a, a fan of mine sent it in the mail, and I got it for free. Wow, that's good. Did you pull the uh, the disability card on him? Yeah. Okay, because Louis can relate to that because yeah. Louis grew up with you know yeah, with the uh, speech problem. Yeah, and this is problem. this is these are my autographs I have for sale. Okay, now this now why would anyone want a picture of you with a wig on? Because <laughs> this is a funny gag. <laughs> I mean, Lenny might want this. Don't show that to Lenny. You know, <laughs> he might want you to put a dress on. This is probably my best hardest condition for being one hundred percent one hundred percent putting in work and not that bad. Okay. I had some I think you could still be this is like this is this is like Sean Roden shit condition from the guest posing you did, don't yeah. you think? Yes, I was like a guest poser, yeah, basically. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta get a little leaner. A little this. leaner, but I still am inspiring somewhat. I mean I can do better and I know I can do better. But I really Do you enjoy... cheat on your diet? Well sometimes I get I lose focus. What do you um, and what do you go eat? Sushi basic a little cheap. Yeah. A little so you'll go to like an all-you-can-eat you place yeah. and, and devour the, the whole sushi bar. <laughs> yeah, I love sushi. Sushi <laughs> no, is my too. biggest, biggest weakness of right, all. Right, it right. is. But you know, when you're dieting, it's, it's 12, 16 weeks. And then after that, you can eat whatever you want. So why not just suffer, you know, while you're doing it? And that's why I'm trying to. That's why this, this show, I'm trying to definitely come in as shredded as possible. If I could just get to... Like the seventy body was when they like mm. six to eight percent. If I could just get to why like not the, just get to like the the, the two thousand nineteen body goals and be shredded. My goal, the best condition I'm gonna bring is. You know how much money you would make for yourself on your social media, yeah. you know, yeah. efforts if yeah. you were getting shredded. You know my, you know, you know my goal is just to get to six percent body fat. I think you should go for two percent body fat. Why put a number? Why put a limit? On there it? is no limit. And you know what Arnold says? This is a fact. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. It matters good look in the mirror. The mirror is your friend. Absolutely, I agree with that. It's true. I think you and Lenny should have a, a diet off. See who can get leaner. Yeah. And we can have an evaluation online, and maybe we'll get you both in the studio here or something like that for a pose down. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Big Lenny, if you're up for it. Um, Jason Genova, Big Lenny, pose down on the RX Muscle Studios live. Yeah, that would be fun. And we'll come up with some prize packages if you guys agree to it. I'll get the fans to donate. You know how people always raising money for uh, GoFundMe's? I'm going to get a, a, a Mr. RX Muscle Olympia uh, prize package for Jason Genova and, and Lenny. Lenny can use the money, so it might motivate him to actually get leaner. Yeah, today. yeah, it would definitely motivate yeah. both of us. <laughs> be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, <laughs> who do you think is going to win the Mr. Olympia this year? Either Sean Roden or Phil Heath. It's going between those so you two. You think Phil will definitely compete then? I it's possible. What about Kai Green? You think he'll show up? Yeah, he might. But might is I'm asking for prediction. Uh, yes, I do think he might. You will. So yeah. you don't think that it will be between Kai, you know, Phil, and and Roden? It will be all between three of them. That's my opinion. Okay. And who will who will emerge victorious? I want the Jason Genova prediction right here. Probably Phil Heath will take it again. You think? You think Phil will regain the title and win number eight? Yeah. Or is he nine? No. Uh, nine, number nine. Number nine. No, number eight. He's going. Number eight. eight. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he just needs to bring his A game this time. Right. Right. Now, what do you think about the classic physique division? You you like it? I love it. It's it's awesome, man. Yeah. Do you think those guys look better than the open guys? 
Some of them, yeah, absolutely. I agree. It's a better look. It's a better look. It's more. It's less. It's my opinion, less drugs, drug okay. enhancers. Okay, because if Lenny were here, Lenny would say he likes the mass of the of the open guys. You know. Yeah, I like classic physique. It's more, it's more synth- aesthetic. Are you a cookie cutter, like Lenny would say? No, I'm not a cookie, not a cookie cutter. cutter. I'm, a, I'm original. Okay, all right. Now, when you wake up in the morning, do you try to like come up with the interesting new things to do for the day, or, or... absolutely? How I'm... do you come up with your original ideas? Like I come out with original ideas, like I came out with my newest line, "Who cares?" Right. I come out with interesting, fun, top, fun phrases, right. what are not cookie cutter, what mm-hmm. nobody has. Right, and then you put them on T-shirts. Is that yes, right? yes, yes. Okay, and and do, do you think they catch on? People like those yeah. Things. Some people buy them. They okay, don't. all right, that's, that's good. What would you say you make in a year? You making good living, Pizza? Yeah, yeah, I'm making. Close to six figures a year. Wow, that's let me shake your hand. Congratulate. You guys should be watching this. You, you know, you people sometimes don't take you seriously. You're making more money than probably ninety percent of the industry out there. Yeah. How does that feel? Feels awesome. Yeah. Now I understood before you came, and a few people instant messaged me and texted me and said that Jason's going to try to like guilt you into giving him free stuff. They told me. <laughs> I just wanted some free T-shirts. I'm, I, I'm intending. I have a whole little gift package for you. But, but was that your intention when you got no, here? Okay, no, right, no, right. no, no, no. I would say thank you and be generous. <laughs> I just break your pulse. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> What's um? If you had to pick uh, your top five favorite foods, what would you say they were? <sighs> Probably one sushi, two uh, burgers, three pizza. What's um, your favorite uh, burger place? Uh, in California, In and Out Burger. Okay, All right. that's cool. I'm a McDonald's guy, but I I, I like In and Out too. In and Out's unique. It's right. not mm-hmm. here. Number four, um, Italian food. Okay. Right. So they have good Italian food in Delray Beach. Yeah, they have a few restaurants. All right. Yeah, Cape Coral here, not so so. I'm from New York, you know. So. Oh, they got good Italian. They food. have good food in Italian. Food yeah, there. and their pizza is good too. Did you grow up in Delray Beach? I'm originally from born in Northridge, California. Now, how'd you wind up in, in Florida? My dad died from cancer and decided to retire here and wanted to move to Florida. So while he had cancer, you guys moved here? Yeah, and my dad died. We buried him in Boynton Beach, Florida Cemetery. Wow. And so you guys moved the whole family here? Yep. But what, why'd you leave California? Just too much? Too expensive, and it got astronomically pricey out there. Gotcha. gotcha. Like, t- the cheapest house dump you can live in down there is like half a mil. Right. It's very expensive. Now, where do you live nowadays? Uh, I live in Boynton Beach, Florida on my own. I got my own condo. You have your own condo? You yeah. bought that yourself? Yes. Really? Yeah. How much was that? At the time I bought in 2013, it was about 40 grand. Now it's worth about 80, 90 grand. It's a little place. Nice. Congratulations! Very good. Yeah. You're doing very well for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, you know, I, I like to hear success stories. I think a lot of people out there. You know, we have fun and I kid around, and but I think you're you're really an inspiration to people because here you are. You know, look, we all have our own handicaps. Yeah, in our everybody's own ways. Done some. Yeah, everybody has. Some have emotional handicaps. Some people have physical handicaps. Some people have both. Some people have <clears> no legs. But you could use it as an excuse either to. Do something about it or, or don't. Or not do something about it. And a lot of people choose to just wallow in it and complain and feel bad for themselves. And you don't do that. You mm. you say, fuck everyone else. I'm going to succeed. And this is how I'm going to do it. And you do it. And mm. I think that that's tremendous. So I, I, I want to really, you know, pat you on the back for that and say, you know, I'm, I'm proud to, you know, to hear that you're doing so well. And I think you are an inspiration to other people. Because if, if, if you can do it, then anyone can do Anybody it. Anybody can do it. That's right. And the fact that some people are not doing it out there just says to me that they're lazy. They're very lazy. What would you? What advice would you give to people? You can look into the camera and tell them. What advice would you give to people who might feel that they're down on their luck or they lost a loved one? They just feel like their life just is not worth living. Just don't give up without a fight and believe in yourself. And look go, over here. Right go, that go 110, 150% and don't give up. But I know. But how do you tell, tell a person who's laying in bed every day just sitting around? Get out of the bed, God damn it. Go the extra mile and don't give up. Right. And what if they just like, well, I have no money, I have no this, I have no that. Find like, something you can make no money. No one loves me. Find somebody you can make money and don't give out without a fucking fight and keep going 150 miles a minute. Now, if you were not a rapper and, and celebrity like you are where you're making your money, you know, you would go and work in a supermarket like you are. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So there's, there, there should be no, I think a lot of people think that it's beneath them to do certain things. And I think that, the, I think the message should be that Nothing's beneath you. It, it's whatever nothing, you have to do to succeed. Nothing can stand right? in your way. You right. have to believe in yourself, and you have to put in the effort. And if you don't believe, you're not going to go anywhere. In my I, I think that's a, a very good message. You're going to be stuck. 
Absolutely. And I want to thank you for coming into our studio today. Thank you very much. And uh, any final messages for the... Uh... You can follow me at Jason Genova, uh, jasongenovayoutube.com, Lord Vader 25, Kingdom um, 1986 Twitch, and... Uh, uh, Kingdom Kingdom Sith at Snapchat. How, how do you how do you have how do you take care of all these social medias on a daily basis? There's so many different places you got to post. I post every day. I'm religiously posting in my house all the mm. time and doing. Is that things. part of your OCD? Yeah. <laughs> maybe we, we should, maybe we should hire him to do some of our uh, social media because we need some some OCD people doing it. <laughs> yeah. If you're an OCD guy, social media is great, right? Because yeah. you, you, you yeah. can't go to sleep probably at night before you yeah. post something yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you sometimes get to the point where you have to post like like 25 posts? You can't stop posting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I post three posts in like a five, ten minute period. Right. Do you find that if you post too much, that's not good? Uh, yeah, it kills the algorithm. It, it does. So you want to just try to put what key posts at certain times of the day? Yes, yeah, certain times it was between twelve and three o'clock in the afternoon. Really? That I didn't even know that. That's the so type of algorithm you want. That's, on that's Instagram, the Instagram, or is that YouTube? The YouTube. That's the time you want to post. It's noon time. Okay, so you don't want to be posting stuff in the middle of the night like I. Yeah, because everybody's sleeping. Interesting. Okay. I figure people will wake up in the morning and watch it, but what you're saying is when it first goes up, that's the most important yeah, time. Yeah, the morning. The morning time or the midday is the mm -hmm. most important. Now, when you title your videos on YouTube, do you have any like strategy to do that? Yeah. Uh, I use catchy thumbnail phrases and I use to do thumbnails, really catchy thumbnails. Okay. And what, what kind of phrases? Give me an example. Uh, like if you, if you were going to title this video, what well, do you what am I, what title am I, our video? It, like what should we put the title of this video? Well, uh, Jason Genova. Uh, guest YouTube star on RMX Muslim. Yeah, RX. But I, I don't. That that doesn't sound that exciting though. Okay, me. Jason Genova, YouTube celebrity entrepreneur. Yeah, but that still doesn't sound that. Good. How about like give me a bit, like more catchy title like Jason Genova, the extravagant extravaganza of of, of a, being a celebrity to celebrity life. Give me. Yeah, how about you take us out with an RX Muscle rap? Yeah. Yeah. Give us a rap. Can you give us a beat? RMX <laughs> Muscle's the best, baby. You know the flavor, baby. You can't touch me. I'm untouchable. RMX is the bomb, baby. Number one on YouTube. You can't touch me, baby. What else can I possibly say to that? I'm Dave Palumbo with Jason Genova for another RX Muscle in studio. Peace out, bye. That was fun. No.